Leah, uh, Minister and ladies and gentlemen. The review presents an opportunity to commence to reshape the debate in New South Wales about development. Minister, the opportunity should not be missed. There are fundamental issues that go well beyond a new act that are priorities for business. A new act is not an end in itself, but the enabler to key goals that must be agreed by the community as a whole. More than anything else, what New South Wales needs is leadership that champions growth and articulates its role. Without growth, there is no nation building, no long-term prosperity, no opportunity to be a hub of innovation or a magnet that holds the best and brightest. No chance to be the leader in the supply chain across the region, no chance to be a global city, an affordable place, and at the same time, a sustainable community. Business wants New South Wales to be number one in terms of prosperity through economic activity, and the New South Wales Planning Act must be an enabler to that economic activity. The review needs to focus on the goals. A new act should create the climate for a dynamic built environment and at the same time value and protect the natural environment. We hope it does not become a make-work scheme for lawyers or Tim, the Land and Environment Court. Business supports the creation of Infrastructure New South Wales with its role to set 20-year goals, complemented by the state plan, which is aligned to the state budget, with clear targets in terms of jobs, dwellings, etc. A good planning system should enable the targets to be achieved enable the infrastructure to be built. The review of the Act requires a clear articulation of a vision and an, expl an explanation of why change is important, the discovery of a pathway not merely to bipartisan political support, but the goal should be to create a system where development is valued and does not pit one group against another. Land use planning should follow strategic planning. However, to review the Planning Act but ignore the role and responsibility of local councils beyond the narrow confines of their planning role is to miss the chance to take New South Wales into the 21st century. For business, reforming the number and the role of local councils, particularly in the Sydney Basin, is as important as reshaping planning in New South Wales. Sydney local councils should be aligned to the metropolitan strategy um, and as such fewer large councils could have an enhanced role in region-wide planning. Certainty and transparency should define the Act. At its simplest, local councils should set their policies through community consultation within a framework of consistency with state and regional planning objectives so that applications that are non-contentious are able to be assessed against agreed criteria for the life of the council. Local councils have a valid role and responsibility in local planning, in particular to meet agreed targets. Merit, not politics, should determine the outcome of every application. Less prescription, less complexity and more certainty with public participation focused on the policy making and strategic function stage. The review should take time to develop clarity around public, private, state, regional and local issues and determine the hierarchy of decision making. The Act must acknowledge that some developments will be of state significance and a mechanism for their processing must remain a feature of new legislation. New South Wales cannot be number one against, again unless a serious attempt is made to address the costs that drive up development. A single point of assessment for all state agency approvals and a reporting regime by agencies against targets must be built into the new, into the new regime. A good system will take an integrated strategic planning approach to deal with the many interrelated and often complex issues. A good system will be focused on strategic planning, environmental concerns and public participation in the policy development phase. Planning policies and construction codes need to be subject 
of clearly separated processes. Minister, everyone wants to live in a sustainable and livable community with an appropriate balance between the natural and the built environment. And business would add a competitive economy as well. That is what a good planning system will ensure. Thank you.